Hi everyone, this is Vala from Online Combat Battalion with another Armour 3 Editor tutorial. This one's in uh, response to one of our viewers who has asked about how to set up some uh, rifle ranges. So this is the uh, rifle range created by uh, Alastair Scott from the community 16AA and this is probably one of the best ranges I've seen uh, in the game. Uh, what it entails is a, obviously a rifle range with a bunch of targets up there and it's controlled, the range is controlled uh, by using this laptop and you will have scores appear here uh, after the serials have been fired. So I'll show you briefly how it works. So we're going to use the laptop and go to power on. You'll see that you now have a display there and all the targets that were up before are now down and the scoreboard is also ready to go. So I'm going to firstly just jump out and grab a weapon from the... Uh, that'll do. And now we're going to select a firing drill and there's several to choose from. So I'm going to go to select firing drill and let's go to ACTM rapid I'm going to set a start delay of 10 seconds and then I'm going to drill control start and I'm going to head back out here and hit this lane here and we'll hear a buzzer And I believe this is five rounds per exposure. They pop up varying ranges from 100 meters all the way out to, I believe it's 400. Anyway, you get the idea. So that's another buzzer that will basically tell you that a new serial is starting. And a long buzzer will indicate that either the, or it'll indicate the end of a practice serial. So I'm out of ammo at the moment. I didn't grab any spare mags. So that's the way it works. When the practice is over it will show you final scores and if you have a look now group one and two were five hits group three was four group four was three and I got a total score of 17 and it will come up with high scores for each lane as the practice goes on um, so you've got a rapid practice snap you've also got a LMG practice and I believe there's a defense practice as well. So they're all different serials and they're great for training um, for your community and your marksmanship skills. So now I'm going to show you how to set this up. So here in the editor, uh, you'll see that we've got all the components for the range here, which is the uh, firing points. There's a lot of grass cutters to knock down the grass a bit. And you've got more firing points. So you've got three different points from which you can fire and then you've got your groups of targets all the way up the range and the boards up here that indicate which lane you're firing on so this comes as a mission uh, that I'm going to attach to this video as a downloadable thing that you can grab so you can open this in the editor and actually use it straight away uh, and if you want to leave it here and use Altus as your training map, then I would recommend just leaving everything exactly as it is and where it is. If you need to move it, uh, you'll notice that we've got all the uh, objects here. You'll note also that we have an empty marker here, which is named ETR underscore marker underscore zero. That needs to be in this vicinity of your um, firing shed okay so that needs to 
be there. So if you're going to grab this and move it to a new location, you would highlight everything normally quite often in the 3D editor, but you ne actually need to do it in the 2D editor to ensure that you get that marker as well. Um, now moving this can be a challenge. I've actually moved it to an another map and because of the terrain and the differences in terrain, um, you will find that not everything is exactly the correct height. So if you're going to move it, and I'll see if I can do a little bit of a demo on how to move this. If we do it in the 3D editor now, just for the purposes of uh, showing you how to move it, uh, we need to make sure that um, toggle surface snapping is off. Okay, we don't want surface snapping. Right, so I'm going to paste this. Uh, very hard to find a flat bit of terrain on Altus that's actually worth using. And let me see if I can put it here. So you'll notice that everything, because toggle surface, surface snapping is off, everything is at exactly the same height that it was when I copied it. Okay, you'll see all these are very neatly lined up. These are all at the correct height. All right, and if we then make sure we select them all, you can either use the, and what I like to do is hit the backspace key to take away all the stuff you don't need to see. And once it's all selected and highlighted, hold down the Alt key, left Alt, left click, and then you can move this up and down. So we want surface snapping off. Alternatively, you can hit the backspace key and the uh, you can get these things which enable you to do exactly the same thing. Um, move them, and I'm sure you've done this before, so move them up and down. You can also use the rotate system where you can actually rotate it around, and that's the best way to move it uh, so that you don't put things out of place. Now I'll quickly show you just inside the uh, script folder for this system. Um, just to show you a couple of things, there's not a lot you need to play with, but you can actually add your own range practices uh, so you can have targets popping up at various intervals and various ranges, uh, basically based on what you want for your community. And let's get into that just a little bit. Okay, so inside the folder, so we've got rifle range new.altus. If we go into here and go into the rifle range folder and into functions and then into drills, okay, we have um, a function add drill instructions SQF. So if we open that, uh, Alistair Scott, who created this range, has very graciously added instructions for adding your own rifle range drills. So you can, as I said before, have targets at very varying ranges, uh, different time intervals popping up, and you can name the practices whatever you want. You can move the targets forward or backwards to have a pistol range or move them further out to have a sniper range, whatever you like. So just follow the instructions in here. If you're not familiar with uh, this sort of scripting or this code, just take your time, have a look through and follow the instructions and try not to break too much stuff. You'll see he's got commented lines or lines that have been commented out where he has instructions. So for example, the first one here is add all diary records to an array so they can be used and add links in the main range description diary record. Um, then we have add diary records here. And then he says, finally add the range description with a link to the marker if added, etc., etc. So that's what you would use to learn how to add them. Um, we've got a compile firing, firing drills. 
which is where you need to compile them into an array. Uh, now, this is confusing for many of you. I haven't actually added any firing drills. I'm just using the standard ones. I did try to uh, add a firing drill by spending a bit of time going through the code and working out what I needed to do. And it kind of worked okay, but the interval between targets I, I didn't get right. And that's not the issue with the script. That's an issue with uh, my patience level <laughs> for editing someone else's script. So also included in that mission file is not only the range we've just seen, but there's also uh, another range added on the salt flats of Altus. Okay, so you, it includes two ranges. And you'll notice that if we go, so we've got this one at the old AAC, AAC airfield. If we go up to the salt flats here, we've got another one. And you'll see that the marker for this one the system empty system marker is ETR marker one. If you remember from before, the other range is ETR marker two. So if you're going to have separate ranges, more than one, uh, you need to rename that there to coincide with what's happening in the script. Um, if you have detailed questions regarding the script uh, and need help with that, uh, I'm gonna refer you to Alistair Scott from 16AA, um, 16AA.net is their community site, uh, and ask him questions there, because this is not my script. All credit goes to Alistair for this um, amazing range system. It's very, very good. So go over there and ask him for any help that you may need with this. But I just wanted to give a brief description on how to use the range and how to move the range to another location. Obviously, if you move the range to another map, you're going to need to copy all of the folders inside the mission directory into the mission folder for your new mission. Um, I hope this has been confusing. There's quite a bit of detail involved with the scripts, but I'm not going to go into details um, too much with that. This is just to show you how to move the range and how to use it. Uh, as I said, uh, I will provide this as a downloadable file in the description below that you can grab and open up in the editor and do with it what you wish. Thanks for watching. Be kind to each other. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.